Six years and still no answers about who killed a young girl in Constantine as investigators continue to try to find out what happened to Jody Perrick. Her family and her town are still hoping for justice. This case has become personal for the Constantine Police Chief and three members of the Michigan State Police Cold Case Team. And today, six years to the day Jody disappeared and was later found dead, they say they are still working hard to find her killer. It's a mystery that haunted the small St. Joseph County village of Constantine since November 8th, 2007. When it first occurred, you know, people were scared to death, you know, let the kids out of the house. Six years ago, that was the day 11-year-old Jody Perrick was riding her bike home from a friend's house when she suddenly disappeared. Her mother called police when she didn't make it back in time. Hours later, the girl's bike was found in a nearby cemetery with her body just a few feet away. I had worked uh, homicides before uh, during my career, and uh, an 11-year-old girl just took my interest. The case is one of the reasons Jim Bedell felt compelled to take the job as Constantine Police Chief. It was hard for me not to, not to get involved. But the work trying to track down Jody's killer proved too much for one person. Three years ago, four members of the Michigan State Police were called in to form a cold case team. We just started from scratch. We started from the very beginning. That meant pouring over police reports, evidence, and photos. Years of investigating, but still no arrest. We've received over 1,400 tips in this case so far, and I would say we've um, spoken to well over 1,000 people. Detective Sergeant Shane Krieger says they've even traveled to multiple states as far away as Texas. Though few details have been released about the case, including the way Jody died. They say their work is ongoing. They want to bring Jody's killer to justice, no matter how long it takes. Because I'm confident eventually it's going to happen. This has been a big case for the entire town. Um, you know, everyone's hearts are involved um, and everyone wants to see it solved. Investigators say the right tip could crack this case wide open. If you know something that could help, call Silent Observer or that cold case team directly at 269-435-1072.